Hello everyone. And in this video, we are going to see the chapter from Grade Eight English. Let us start with the topic. Uh, the topic is already in the screen. Yes. So let's start the topic. So what are you anyway? Which is written by the author Lawrence Hill. Let us. discuss something about lawrence hill lawrence hill is a novelist journalist educator and documentary writer he was born in 1957 in new market on important contributors is an important contributors to black culture in canada among canada's most successful writer uh, is an earned bachelor degree in economics from university laval in quebec city and a masters degree in writing from johns hopkins university so about this author is mostly his writings are all about for black people for racism okay <coughs> so for sorry from this itself we could see we can understand the lesson is going to be a part of racism sorry racism let's discuss the summary of this lesson here everything is there so what are you anyway was just written by the author lawrence hill it's a story about racism and how it affects everyone irrespective of binaries carol a little girl was tra- was traveling on an airplane to visit her visit her grandparents she was seated next to an older couple the nortons who are loud and boisterous so in this paragraph we could see the story starts with a little girl named carol okay so this girl is a black okay black you could see i will show that picture next so this girl is a black girl and along with her she is traveling in a aeroplane okay so she is going to visit her grandparent okay at that time she there's an strangers who are seated near with this girl they called us nortons couple okay the couples name of the couples is nortons and who are loud and boisterous which means they are talkative they open mouth okay always talk like that people okay so come to the next one next line mr norton is curious about carol's race and ethnicity from the beginning he makes her uncomfortable by asking how she would color her parents faces so you could see that in this line mr norton is very curious about her her uh, race okay about carol's race so that is keep on asking that about her race is trying to get the answer from her from her about her parents about her parents race okay so that only he is keep on asking questions Uh, let us see the next line so carol is being a child doesn't understand the concept of race or why it should matter to these complete strangers so being a child she doesn't understand what is uh, race like that okay so what they are trying to ask me what those couple is asking me he, she doesn't understand okay so even though she doesn't understand but she has she had in a mind that somewhat they are asking me the bad question like that she had in a mind okay so come to the next line and she was she doesn't know why these strangers are very eager about her uh, the race that's what she's not okay she's thinking about then see the next line they continue to pester her with intrusive questions when they realize that she doesn't understand the concept of race 
It was only a matter of time till Carol realized that Mr. Norton was asking her a bad question. So here you could see this in this line they are talking about she doesn't understand the meaning of race even though uh, that she doesn't know why they are asking like that okay but he had a concept that uh, mr norton is trying to ask me the bad questions which is not suit for her which is not necessary for her okay that is what uh, it was given in this line so come to the next line she musters up her courage and puts an end to their questioning she burst out at them asking how they would feel if she asked them the same so she good uh, she was rage she was uh, furious about that okay she was angered about that couple she doesn't want to reply to the questions which was asked by that couple okay so she she want to refuse that okay so what she did this uh, with his brave with her brave okay with her courageous behavior she just stood up and went away from that place and she is telling that uh, you could see that how they would feel if she asked them the same that's what she has thinking that she is just telling them while uh, you are asking me this question whether if i ask these questions to you what will be your reaction like that she is thinking let's see the next line the stewardess uh, moved carol to a different seat seat sensing trouble uh, but mr and mrs norton are completely oblivious to carol's sentiments so uh, here you could see that, that the house uh, i mean yar host is be there her which means yar hostess who were a host in the flight okay so she is asking her about uh, about these things about the matter so she is uh, requesting carol to move from one place to uh, move to the different place okay so she doesn't want to sit along with them that's why she is asking but what happened mr and mrs nortons are completely oblivious to carol's sentiments which means here they are not even thinking about carol's attitude there okay carol's she is not understanding the carol's sentiments okay about their parents so come to the next line they couldn't comprehend that their behavior was not only invasive but disrespectful and completely unnecessary so that couple you could not you know they are ethnic ethnical they are not even think about others feelings okay they are only concentrate only fond of uh, caste i mean uh, racism all the things okay so they are not thinking about the other uh, people's yes the concerns not like that they are not thinking in their concerns uh, they don't have maybe you may consider those people will not have okay so in this lesson in this chapter they are trying to author is trying to tell about the racism the racism is there in every place okay it is it is like uh, it's a like a hiding thing okay not it was it will not shown up everywhere so for example uh, recently there was an attack about the black man uh, black person which is named uh, uh, george floyd he is from america who was killed by the american police the white people okay so this what so these things are happening in our society so these kind of authors like authors like uh, lawrence hill are trying to uh, show some yeah trying to uh, yeah aware of okay just want to aware the people of these things okay Ra- about racism caste religious everything this was the whole lesson is all about and let's conclude this lesson by this video this animation which was created for this lesson a black doll A big man is holding Carol's doll. I have never seen anything like it. Honey. So you could see uh, a black girl who was sitting there. Uh, that is Carol, and along with them, and that doll is uh, Carol's doll. She will hold it with her, and that is a couple. 
you could see that the man and the women who were sitting along with a uh, cattle they were the couple who are keep asking keep on asking questions unnecessarily yeah. Miss Amy may i have her please the man sits beside carol the woman says i am betty norton and he's my husband henry the man keeps looking at carol carol hears so that is a there is a norton's couple uh, the people are telling that so here uh, she is telling that uh, that husband her husband name is henry and uh, she is norton and you could see that the important characters in this lessons are uh, these three uh, guys who were sitting in that seat so the center person is henry and the wife norton and there is carol who who is holding the toy who is holding the toy with her so let's start them whispering to each other talking about her ask her i'm kind of curious the man asks his wife aren't you soon after they are served their meals and carol has eaten the man says what are you anyway what race we were wondering carol senses that the man is asking a bad question she wish so you could see this uh, he's asking he's keep on asking questions is started his conversation by asking about her race about uh, carol's race you could see that is her mom and dad were there put it this way what is your father the question baffles her what is her father he is her dad he makes pancakes for her and takes care of her not in continues say you had a coloring book what color would you make your dad i never use just one color not in keeps driving his question until carol blurts out brown and your mother i don't know mrs norton asks how would you color your mother's face yellow is your mother chinese mrs norton asks no is your mother white is her face the same color as mine yes and your father's brown carol nods when you say brown do you mean he is a negro yes if mrs norton wanted to know all along if her dad was a negro why didn't she just ask so you could see this in this video that uh, mrs norton is trying to know about her father's whether uh, her father is a negro or not okay and that is why she is trying to ask she is trying to know so you're mixed mrs norton says you're a mulatto carol's lip quivers you know what a mulatto is don't you the sight of the approaching stewardess gives carol a rush of courage why do you keep asking me if my dad is negro yes he's negro okay okay negro 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 she screams passengers stare who are these people someone says imagine talking to a child like that and in 1970 she keeps asking me how i would color my parents in a coloring book so what are you anyway what are your parents how would you color them well i don't care carol shouts when the stewardess asks carol if she would sit with her carol nods enthusiastically clutching amy she passes by the nortons so you could see that she doesn't want to sit along with them so steward is ask, asking her to come along with her so she just went away from that place my god carol hears mrs norton tell her husband talk about sensitive 